Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. You can support this channel through the PayPal and subscribe to our links below to keep me making this series of videos. Any and all donations are helpful. Before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, Hawk and the Good. His channel is for MGTOW men looking for philosophy and purpose in today's soy society. The number one question guys ask me is how do I find meaning and purpose in life? And Hawken has you covered with politics and current affairs, mixed in from a male perspective. Visit his YouTube channel and see for yourself. Sponsor link is down below. Now on with the memes. Number one, good times create weak men. Men like this guy that hides behind his wife's daughter for his own safety. Then again, with how progressive our world is these days, that actually might be a son. In the actual video, though, he tries to pull his daughter away to safety from the falling cyclist. It's just that in this picture, it actually makes him look like a coward. What do you guys think? Up next is a 15-year-old teenager announcing to the world that she's on her second pregnancy. 30 years ago, high school-aged single mothers were shamed. In another 30 years, as fertility rates fall, they will be praised. It makes you wonder who the second child's baby daddy is. Will she have two little tire nights? Just think about it, she had the first one at the age of 13. Number three, we have Elon Musk being happy to be the wealthiest man in the world. And meanwhile, the Rockefellers and Rothschilds of this world don't even have to reveal their actual wealth. The wealthiest men are guys like Putin, as he pretty much owns slash controls Russia. The real power is found in ruling from the shadows and influencing leaders from the sidelines, or by promoting the social changes you want to see happen by mucking about with the edumacation and or financial system. Moving on, apparently Tokyo is the biggest city in the world, while at the same time being the safest one. How is that possible? Maybe the reason is all the peace-loving migrants that live there, or the 98% conviction rate for crime. Or maybe it's a culture that promotes personal responsibility, respect for others, including one's elders. Let's see what happens. Number five, did you know that women store DNA from every man they've been with in their bodies? I wonder if that includes Fido's DNA too, if you know what I mean. Being run through by 200 dudes is not exactly called making love either. This kind of sounds like the start of a horror movie. As men, our subconscious knows this, and that's why we prefer virgins to some extent. Apparently, even kissing a woman means she's harvesting your DNA. That's creepy. For what purpose, who knows? Number six is Taylor Swift, and most of her songs are about her bad choices in men. Yet she's still endorsing sleepy Joe Biden. Her whole career has been made around projecting the image to everyone that she's a victim. And because most women see themselves as victims, they identify with their lyrics. The only correction to this is that she's not making millions. She's making billions off of being a professional victim. Up next is a woman that's empowered and she's not a victim. In fact, she even put a sign out on her door that says, I don't need a man, and the firemen are now lucky that they saw it, otherwise they would have gone into her apartment and had to put out the fire. Luckily for them, she's going to do all the work of turning herself into a cooch kebab all on her own. These based firemen are just respecting her wishes. This is definitely a crispy meme. Number eight is the playbook on how our soy society turns to excrement. Men simp out by giving women everything they want or think they want. And then in the end, they wreck everything. The last step on this list is what I'm looking forward to, which is soy society burning out. The line before that is men don't care. And we're there now. Moving on is another guy that paid $175,000 to get six inches taller. And now he looks like he's going to be getting a lot of action from the girls. He's probably going to be creating a lot of alpha widows out there. You also know you can get this done in Guadalajara for $1,500 or so. You could be over six feet tall by Easter. Are you in for some discount length lengthening surgery that will shorten your life while extending your legs? Of course you are. Number 10 is someone saying that their mother is a guidance counselor at a community college and that the school is having an administrative meeting because so many teen girls want to become lonely friends models and that their entire future is based on that succeeding. This person is wondering what impact this will have on soy society. Looks like the collapse will be filled with more working girls than we originally thought. Someone says that they've always monetized themselves but in the past they did it through marriage and now I do it through lonely fans. That is until AI accounts run by men take the market from them. Up next is Bafo and she's 24 with two kids and six months pregnant and doesn't even know who the father is. She says that she's ready to settle down, but only two kids. Those are rookie numbers. I'll only consider taking someone like her 
when she has at least six of them, so I can have my very own ready-made Brady Bunch family. But seriously, she looks like she's looking for a pet wallet to pay for all her mistakes. It's getting desperate these days with so many pregnant ladies looking for men. Number 12 is what many male feminists would find in their misfortune cookies. They would realize that feminists hate them too for being males, even though they're technically allies. The only thing that's missing is him having blue hair and a name like Fate or Destiny. I think we all know that most male feminists are just predators in Sims clothing. Here's an actual picture of the can of food industry complex after inventing feminism. Moving on, his old creepy eyes freaking out after her partner opens her laptop to find himself as a Sim married to her Sim, with four kids and a housemaid. Add a couple more kids, and they could be the Brady Bunch. She has those you have to commit to me or else crazy eyes, if you know what I mean. This woman is the female opposite of the male feminist in the last one. She's creepily planning out their lives together. Number 14 are a bunch of women that spent $500 on Taylor Swift tickets, $500 on new outfits, and $1,500 on an iPhone 15. But they can't seem to pay back their student loans. In a way, all that student loan forgiveness just made Taylor Swift a billionaire. It's male tax dollars at work turning her into the time person of the year, don't you know? Swift's lyrics are written for 12-year-old girls with melodies so lightweight that they literally vanish into the air. Up next, we have a kid telling his mother that he's lucky to be in a two-parent household. She says no, she's divorcing his father because she's missing out on clubbing and parties. Kind of reminds me of Sophie Turner divorcing her husband and making her kids suffer because she married young and didn't have a chance to ride the rooster roller coaster. I feel sorry for the kids suffering through her narcissism here. Number 16 is a woman speaking, and you have to listen and learn. But tell me exactly what I need to learn. Maybe how to eat enough food to hit 250 pounds. Maybe she's going to teach us to become a victim or something. Or maybe she's going to teach me how to be unhappy. In the end, I think it's best if there is less speaking and more twerking. I wonder where I can actually buy one of these wonderful t-shirts. I should make one saying, a man is speaking. Listen and learn. I wonder how well that would go over. Number 17 is a woman that wanted more child support money after her baby daddy got promoted. He ordered a DNA test and the son wasn't his. He put the results in her mailbox and now she's upset because she's ghosting her child. And she wonders how to fix this because he's been the son's dad for eight years now. I feel bad for the kid, but not for her. She got what she deserved lying to a man that he was the father when he wasn't. I guess it's all better now because she forgave herself for cheating on him and getting preggers with another man's brood. Moving on, the average IQ in America is falling from 98.5 in 1930 to 96.75 today. Why is this happening? Is it the modern diet in women? Perhaps fluoride in the water? I think we all know exactly why, but we just aren't allowed to say it without having the dildo of consequence violate our metaphorical swing swings. Maybe it's all that twerking that's not only shaking bottoms but the tops of women's heads and their brains too. Number 19, it looks like the IQ and population of South Korea is about to drop massively if they don't embrace mass immigration. They hit a new record in 2023 of 0.7 kids born per woman. And they need to have three times as many kids just to hit replacement levels. They won't go extinct. So I guess the South Koreans will only survive if they replace themselves by people from the outside. That makes perfect sense, don't you know? Up next is another joke of an article from the London Telegraph, claiming that prehistoric women were better hunters than men. That's all according to the science. Yes, women are natural hunters that aren't afraid of nothing, except spiders and mice, of course. Unfortunately, we all know the truth. The tribes where women were the best hunters, when they chipped their nails, the whole tribe starved. So that's why those tribes aren't with us today. The real question we should ask is, why do male prehistoric skeletons have elbow injuries consistent with spear throwing, but female skeletons do not. It's the science bro, and a Scooby-Doo mystery. What's the next article? Prehistoric men were better at giving birth than women. Number 21 is Elrina, mother of five boys. Jerome, Rashawn, Charles, Malik, and Cash. Sounds like she has two white, one black, one Muslim, and one Indian son. She's probably on Tinder because her baby daddies are all in jail. Remember guys, she only made five mistakes in the past, but now she's ready to settle down, so long as you have a six-bedroom house and an extra car for her. Moving on, teachers are getting worse. These two from Indiana are charged with forcing a special needs kid to eat puke. They didn't say if the child was a boy or girl, 
but I bet it was a boy. Remember, guys, that women are the more compassionate sex. This is probably almost as disturbing for a child as seeing the Minnie Mouse is actually a man. But the two women I mentioned will probably be eating plenty of what they fed to that child where they are now. Number 23, we have a strong, empowered female actress who fought against fat phobia. Lose her battle with obesity at the age of 46. She was beautiful at any size, and she passed away while swimming in a pool, rehearsing for a synchronized swimming show. <laughs> Besides buying cat food, get ready to invest in extra-large coffin manufacturers. I feel sorry for her and her 12 pallbearers. Up next, you'll never see the original Spider-Man films the same way again. MJ didn't want to hear Peter Parker's problems of having two jobs, a university internship, dead parents as well as uncle, and one living relative that's a sick old lady, along with financial struggles. He also lost his house and had his scooter demolished. Yet all she could think about is how he didn't show up at her play, so now she has to get together with his boss's astronaut son, Chad. There, I just ruined Spider-Man for you. Number 25 and the last one, thousands of people made a barbecue in front of the house of an Australian vegan woman who took her neighbors to court because of the smell of meat cooking in their own backyard. I wish I would have been there to eat steak on her front lawn, while looking at her through her front window. Cows and vegans are both bad for the environment, because all they do is eat plants and farts. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm, and so that new viewers can find it. If you enjoy this series, then donate at the PayPal and subscribe star links below, and I'll keep making it. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day, and cheers.